get out of here as well. Since the cat's asleep in here, I've kind of bit him on to do some more burnouts. So, yeah, I've got my outmed hooked up again. A Pioneer 60 watt voice coil. I kept the original magnet, stuck a coffee tin lid and a magnet between it. Worked as a good speaker for a small radio. Not bad. You see, I've overheated it. So, time to finish it off. Some zero. Oh, right here. <laughs> oh yeah, that went up to about an amp on that meter. Yeah, that meter works. <laughs> That's been getting bloody hot. Holy hell, that's hot. Yeah, I'll turn it off. I can see that wires and I'm not feeling short out, so. I did that in the 100 and something map transformer. So we might not be around to finish that off. That's off, now I'll make sure that's turned off before you do anything. So yeah, let's try this electric toothbrush motor. It's better quality than the previous one. Okay, we've got that. Negative to there. Cheater bed nap, that voice coil. <laughs> Negative. That's negative. Hang on, positive goes that way. So positive should go on there. That's one. That's the second one. Yeah, big check the fire's a bit warm. Alright, that's on there. Let's see what that does. Probably gonna make a mess and kick around like a bitch, but we'll see what happens. Time zero. Thirty volts. <laughs> that was funny. Poor that stinks. That's actually a better quality motor than the previous one. Okay, that's dead. Yeah, I put the amp meter there because it's an 8 amp rated variac. 8 amp rated meter. I can keep track of what's going on, so very important I got that there. That's off an old Arlec battery charger, that amp meter, so I knew I kept it for a good reason. I'll do an autopsy on these later. As you can see that, a little bit warm. Here's these with a blue yesterday. Here's that little electronic game thing. That's the 900, yeah, 99991 in that little chip there. <laughs> Fourth to third 2009 is when it was made. Very cheap, basic thing. Here's other part of it here I want to blow up. This little capacitor. Take it out and we'll blow that up. Alright. Come back later. Okay, view as well. Let's see, that looks like another vault. Let's try that screen. What else have I got here that I blew up previously? <laughs> that capacitor can still be blown up. And... Speaker off this game didn't blow. That's gonna go bang. Let's see, I'll try this motor first. That there, that matter in series, that goes there. Positive going through to there. It's just a cassette player mechanism. I try to tap into the playback head into a cassette player so I can play that sound through it as I vary the speed with the variac, but it didn't work. <laughs> Would have been interesting though. And the other part of the circuit goes here. Connect this up, I'll just connect these up with yours. There you go. Can't get a picture of these at a high enough voltage. The traces are right up the screen. Okay, I get that all. So I can see it, I press... I might press anything, that won't bother playing anything on it. Just for shits and giggles, I'll see what it does. Very X humming. 
that's at 10 volts. 40. 60 volts. Forty volts. I like that speed variable speed thingy in there. Yeah. Forty, fifty volts. Sixty volts. And it's still running. Just sort it out. Oh, well, that was an interesting one. <laughs> okay, shut it off. Got to about here, so don't rely on this scale. This is just a rough guide. Just because this scale says what voltage it is, doesn't mean it's exact, exactly what the output voltage is. That's just a rough guide. Power's off. And I didn't even get warm. That's good. I was worried about that thing overheating, but turns out it's not bad at all. Mmm, burnt winding and brushes. There, so about there, 70 volts, probably about, I don't know what the exact voltage was, but there, about 70, probably, yeah, I reckon it would have been as high as 80. <laughs> That's pretty good for a little, what is it, 12 volt cassette player motor. Let's get this capacitor, I mean, a little tan to the oxide capacitor. See what that does. It's on zero. Shouldn't take much to blow that. Okay, well that must have already blown previously when I blew that game thing up. Usually if they blow it, they just turn black and make heaps of smoke. Not even warm, yeah, must have blown it up. Let's try this little speaker here. So I can see the voice call, make sure nothing's shorting out. Vectifier is cool, or I wasn't make sure the power's off. And this, that's on. You can see the admin next to the speaker. Got a good viewing angle, so that's she's on zero. Turn it on. I don't know if the speaker may already have blown, but no. Nah. It popped. Barely got to 30 volts. Okay, viewers, let's try that screen. Ant-Med is pretty useful. You can see how much current we can draw. Okay, it's got traces, so I'll go here. Find where the traces are. The connection, so I'll go here. Just touch them on there, and the voltage should be enough to crawl an arc over to get the screen to work. Okay, that should be it. Alright, it's on zero. That's at 40 volts. Sixty volts. Eighty volts. One twenty volts. One forty volts. One sixty volts. One eighty. Two hundred. And two forty. And two hundred and eighty volts. There you go. Two hundred and eighty volts. So a screen is designed to run off two AA batteries. Barely moving the meter. Turn it straight off and see what the screen looks like. Power's off. Didn't even get warm. That didn't even get warm, and the meter barely moved. Actually, let's turn back down before we turn it off. Okay, viewers, well, it is possible to run a low voltage LCD on, yeah, a crazy voltage, and it's still just fading away now, so cool, that's pretty interesting. So, yeah, that's enough blowing things up for today, so. <laughs> Thanks for watching.
Oh, I can plow it when I touch it with my fingers. Look at this. Cool. I can. That's pretty cool, actually. I never knew that. Touch the, the traces in my fingers and it goes out. That's actually kind of cool. There you go. I must have shot it out of my fingers and now the pictures are gone. Okay, viewers. Thanks for watching.